Alright. And I'm back again. No. Crap. What? Why is this? I've already left this area. I don't know why I'm getting this. Um. Yeah. I, I did leave this area. I don't know why I'm getting that message. I've already done that once. Um. And now I'm lost. This way. And I'm still getting a little lag. Awesome. Uh. It's a coyote. I use our not more apps. I hope I have a uh have a gun equipped. There we go. I'm a P90. In case I need to uh fight any thing. Oh nah, nah. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead. If, in case you're curious about the P90, um here's its Stats. Damage 16, DPS really high. Uh, it's got a high value, you find it in Doug Mitchell's house. It is kind of cheating to get it there and all that. Um, I usually just use it just because I've played the game plenty. I've already gotten... I, uh, but um, I don't know, I just like this gun. Um, why? I've lost all train of thought also, so that's important. Legend has it, there's a mole rat somewhere. Uh, I honestly don't know exactly where he's at. I don't I don't remember if the uh, the mod page actually said it. Oh i here I am uh, backtracking again. Uh, I was gonna go ahead and say there's two different P90s, this one is the P90 Nana. But that's the end of that. I'm done talking about that for now. Um, back to the mole rat, who is somewhere. Morning. All right, it's ahead. Maybe over here. in the game, I'm just, you know, I need to collect some stuff, because my character's new. He doesn't have her. Oh. Uh, this is pretty, like, this mod's supposed to be pretty new. He doesn't have a wheel or anything, he just, he's here to be fancy, follow you around and be your friend, because you're alone on, in this world, and if you don't have friends, what do you got? You got, you got this can. Um, like I said, he's he's new. Like the mod author like, said, um, he, like he's gonna keep working on it. I think uh, make it so that he's got a companion wheel and stuff. People are people give him suggestions, so maybe George will become a little fancier as things go on. But for now, he just follows you around. He fights. Um, if you attack him, he gets angry. And um, but if you kill him, he, he's happy again. He wakes up. I, I he think he's set to never never permanently die. Um, I think we're going to test that right now. Um, I, oh, he's got... He's got... Okay, now he's angry. Watch help. He's got, a, he's got an alright attack, too. Come here, George. i got to kill you so you don't forget. Forget about my misdeeds. Sorry, George. I can... I can place a tracker on him. Um... Okay, yeah, there he goes. I wonder... I gotta... I, I'm gonna test something here. Um, apparently you're not so... 
maybe I don't wanna Okay, never okay, search. Okay, I can't actually search him. I was gonna see if I could put items on him while he's taking a nap. I'll fix this. I don't what? No. Take what? Okay, apparently okay, something I don't like about this Oh, I know how to fix that. I just um do this fancy thing and just unequip it. Oh my god. See see I'm retarded. I, apparently, like you, you can reset the trackers. I guess if you're just crouching anywhere and looking at anything. So, come on, George, let's go. I, I guess you don't have to talk to him or anything. He just, yeah, he just automatically comes with you. So, he doesn't have any storyline or anything. He's just been living in here all alone, and he's found you, and he's like, oh, you look like a, you look like a fun person. So he decides to be your friend and comes along. That is his storyline. I just made it up. And, um, so that's George, and he's going to be my little buddy for now. Um, now to figure out where on earth this, um, other thing is, because, click, build map, <clears throat> it's the only thing I had on my list that was not just right around Good Springs. Um, I know where everything's at, don't worry. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. I think it's over here. I made that really difficult, but you got to hear a fancy song. So it all worked out. <laughs> and in theory, there's Watch out. What? What are we looking out for? Oh. Okay. <laughs> See See ya. Apparently there is a uh, new like outpost or courier thingy somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure it's around here. We'll soon find out. Maybe it's um, probably not near. Let's look. It's probably if it's, it's probably over at the other building. You know what? I'm just gonna turn around because I guarantee it is. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes yep. you wish for a nuclear war. That's what you want. Because then you'd be walking around saying, patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear summer. Hmm. Maybe it's probably not here. Because all this looks pretty much the same. Wait, you're new. Henry. Patrol in the Mojave Shut almost makes you wish for a new oh. winner. Hi there, Bulletproof. You're getting quite a name for yourself, aren't you? Hmm, I think you ready to get back in the saddle then? Back in ready to deliver some mail. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying there. When you said back in the saddle, I was like, oh wait, I haven't done any of this before, but he's talking to me because I'm already a courier and I've probably been here before. We know each other. What do you do here? Because I'm retired. Well, Express got the contract to handle the NCR's courier work out here. Mm -hmm. Thanks to lone couriers being a less tempting target than patrols or caravans. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the office convinced them anyway. Mm -hmm. From this lovely office the NCR let us use, I sort out all the incoming and outgoing mail, dishing it out to any couriers available. 
How about those? Well, this is something special. You get 200 caps for getting there and back with a signature and any return mail due. Mm-hmm. Aren't you worried about that? Well, that isn't something to shout about. Yeah. But circumstances weren't exactly normal. And the client isn't being fear of blood. Yeah. Got any jobs? I've got a parcel to go Holy to Tarquin Labage. Got to stand Sloan. up for this. Yeah, I'll take it. Great. Sign here and we'll get you on your way. Fun business. I was pointing a gun at you. Sorry about that. Um, parcel for Le... No, don't add it. Round and round. <coughs> I'm coughing in every video. Sorry about that. And the miscarinous instructions delivered the mail to Tarquin Labage at Salon. Because I'll forget where everything is. Uh, it'll take me about. Uh, never mind. I'll just keep reading. Recipient will take possession of the parcel and should sign off this note and confirm delivery. Return the signed note to the Mojave Outpost Office for payment. Manifest. This package contains one fancy, fancy if slightly battered, pre-war book. Mm -hmm. Contract penalties if you are. An authorized agent of the Mojave Express, blah blah blah. Complete the payment process. Uh, obligated to complete this transaction. Immediately responsible, blah blah blah. Red plus lost, blah blah It's basically just saying that if I lose this, it's all my fault and they hate me. Alright, that's that. Hello. Howdy. Wow. Let's see if I can manage to um, find this place on my map. I'm retarded because I could have done that. All right. What the? Oh, George. I thought you got really big. Hey. Is this your big brother? Hey. I think that's your brother. No. No. Don't eat him. Who am I going to? In here? Bunk beds. You? No. I talk to you. Oh, I'm tempted. Who's. Are you looking at me? Oh, no. Never mind. I got something for you. How do you do? I do all right. How about you? What do you do here? I'm mostly responsible for the explosives. When we have any, that is. Well, that's My grandmother was somewhat of an expert on the subject, and much to mother's distress, Granny taught me well. The NCR authorities had promised to resupply us after the powder gangers took our stocks, but they are as of yet a no-show. Yeah. If you happen to pick up any dynamite on your travels, we would gladly pay you $30 a stick for it. You pay it? Dollars? I'm Thank curious. You. And here's your payment. Oh, okay. That's not thirty dollars. Oh, okay. There you go. You, sir, tricked me for a second. Um, here. I got no spiffing. Package. One really does look forward to some <laughs> intellectual distraction around here. Your accent is a little unusual, sir. Do you think so? Well, yes, it has become rather alarmingly apparent since I've been here. I do rather stand out from the crowd, so to speak. My well, family, having elevated their financial status through mining, chose to elevate their social status through education and image. Mother chanced upon a rare selection of pre-war recordings showing the lives of the social elite, which my siblings and I were brought up to emulate in tone and poise. Unfortunately, Father deemed that I should see the family industry 
from its roots in order to properly continue his legacy. Being known within Father's own operations, I find myself in this hellhole. Sorry, I have rather spilled my guts. I <laughs> would appreciate if you didn't tell the men all that. I do get the most horrendous ribbing as it is. Alrighty there, sir. Farewell. See ya. Voice acting in this is quite good.